friends, you got Danita with Booty Bands, and today you are going to learn about how you can get rid of your muffin top, your tire, your love handles, whatever we call it nowadays. I've been there and I know how it feels, so let's get rid of it. You all have been asking me, Danita, how do I get rid of this area? And you know what? I'm not just gonna tell you that one workout is gonna fix it like everybody else on social media is gonna tell you just do this one workout. Wrong, there's actually a system and I'm gonna give you the keys to that system. There's three things that we're gonna learn today and you're gonna do right here, right now with me today. The first one we're gonna do is a workout using resistance to help tone our muscles. This in turn is going to help burn fat faster and you're gonna to start to notice your physique is gonna come out. The second thing we're gonna to do today is we're gonna add cardio into our workout. So we're gonna be enhancing our fat burn even more by getting the sweat going and the movement up. Last and, and foremost, it has to be a clean diet. You have to make sure that you are eating good foods right after your workouts because you can absolutely sabotage the results that you just put in if you go and eat a bad meal. And nobody teaches you guys that. So the first thing I wanna make sure is that we learn the three keys and that is what truly you're gonna get this down because you know why? I've been there, I know how it feels. I've been to that, to the over, everything that's on your mind is, I, my goal is I wanna get rid of this. My goal is, and you're constantly staring at it. Every time you put an outfit on that's, that's too tight, you start feeling like you're a squished burrito in there. I know how that feels. I also know how it feels to love Spanx. You know, that was my favorite thing to just anything that I could just put as tight as possible around my waist or anything that would just really cover up my tummy area. You know, I would really, really do that. And I hated the feeling that like stuff would hang over my pants. It was, it was absolutely uncomfortable. I didn't feel sexy and I didn't feel confident. So so guess what? I want to be able to show you and teach you the keys and the, the, the system that truly is going to get you rather than just say, oh, do this Pinterest workout or just do this one workout. It's going to, it's going to be fine. No, it won't. And you've seen that. You've done that. You've done all of them. So how about join me today and we're going to do all three of them right here, right now. So you're gonna need your booty band and you're also gonna need some weights. Grab a mat if you would like or you can just do it in the comfort of your own home, towel, carpet, whatever works for you, okay? If you do not have a booty band, click in the link below to be able to get yours. You're also gonna find that there are plenty of workouts to go with these booty bands. You're actually gonna fall in love with the community and you're gonna love that there's diet programs and recipes and challenges to really help you along your journey as well. Awesome, let's get started with a few different exercises for a warm up. This is dynamic, so which means you're in movement. This one I'm twisting side to side and the reason why I choose it is because it definitely is going to be targeting my core, opening up anything that's stiff and allowing more blood flow. The next you're just bringing the same knee to the same elbow. This is gonna be targeting your obliques, which we will definitely be hitting a lot today. So make sure you take some time and do this warm up with me. Awesome, our first exercise is called the twist and press. Grab your booty band and your dumbbell. I'm gonna first start off with just modification. As you can see, my range of motion is very limited here. So always starting off with something that's low and then progressing. As you notice, I'm going lower to the ground and now I'm involving my leg. Your focus is your obliques, really balancing, squeezing your rib cage down into your hip bone as you're stretching and then squeezing that love handle area. I'm doing a total of 10 on each side.
The next exercise is going to be the runner. Now this one is just so great to adding cardio in with your resistance training because you're just going to amplify your results. Now listen to your body. As you see, I started off slow. You can continue to do that. Or if you want to challenge yourself, just pick it up. I'm doing a total of 20 runs right here. This next exercise is my favorite. It's called the love handle lift. Notice that my hips are open, meaning my, my top leg is back and bent, and my bottom leg is forward and straight. What this does is it targets more in my lower back area. So instead of just my side obliques, I'm now focusing into that back area. Notice that my elbow is right underneath my shoulders, and I'm doing a total of 30 dips. Yes, we went from 10, 20, now we're on 30. You are gonna feel the burn in all the right places on this one. Just stay focused, keep breathing, and you're gonna love what the results will bring you. Awesome, now we're gonna split it up with a little cardio again. Now this is called skiing. Now this one is for 40 reps. Notice I'm gonna take it from all different types of advanced or modification levels here. Just choose the one that's going to challenge you. Notice you can do some hopping or you can just do stepping back. Completely your choice, but just get me 40, get your heart rate up and really get that fat burning going. This next exercise is called a Russian twist with a twist. Now I'm gonna do a total of 30 reps. And now I'm gonna be adding an advanced where I'm adding a twist to the workout, which basically is doing bicycles with your Russian twist. Imagine you have a dish towel and you're just wringing it out. That's what you're doing with your core right now. You're really squeezing side to side and toning all the little muscles that make up your core. So if you are advanced, you can go side to side and that counts as one or for modification just count one two three four on each twist you do whatever you do challenge yourself through this one this one's a great one to shrink your waist yes you guessed it we are doing cardio again and this one is the skip you can start off with a modification and you can try the advanced moves of going from low to high you just want a total of 20 so get them done. You've only got two exercises, this one and one more, and you're done. So keep it up, challenge yourself, and let's get into that fat burn.
last exercise. You are killing it. I am so proud of you for getting this far. You are definitely sweating and you're burning in all the right places. This next one is called the V-Up. I'm gonna walk you through a couple different variations. One, you just have your knees bent. Two, you have one leg coming up. Or three, you're gonna have both legs coming up. Choose your different level and you can always advance yourself. Remember, remember, it's progression, not perfection. You'll be so proud of yourself when you start to just start with the lower modifications and then you work your way up to advance as you feel your body getting stronger and stronger. You are getting happier and happier as you're seeing this momentum and your, your journey and transformations happen. So your biggest focus here is focus on your core. Don't think about your neck or your head coming to the point. You wanna to try to keep your spine in alignment and just focus really about your rib cage coming down to your hip bone. You'll feel it in all the right areas if you have that mind-body connection. You're doing a total of 10. After you just completed two of your tasks, you should feel accomplished. You should feel accomplished just to dive into something so... <laughs> so you just used resistance and weights to help tone your muscles in which you're burning your fat. You also added cardio in today and you feel accomplished. And so guess what? There's a final part to your success. And that is eating a plate full of vegetables and protein, healthy carbohydrates and fats will just do nothing but feed those muscles and make sure that your physique comes out and gets rid of that muffin top, that tire, and get you that perfect hourglass. So make sure you dive into a good plate of food now within 30 minutes after your workout, and I'll see you on our next video. So go ahead and hit subscribe if you want to see more motivation videos and information videos to really help you get to your goals that you're looking for. As well, if you would like a booty band, go ahead and either click here or the link below to be able to get yours that come with your workouts, your diet plan, your motivation, your community. So excited to see you on the other side.